Hi gang! Many of you know that I often get my electronic parts by salvaging them from old electronics. Microwave ovens being a favorite. To do that, I have to remove parts from the board, desoldering them. In this video, I'll show you how to desolder parts from the circuit boards using a desoldering pump or solder sucker. This also helps if you need to fix a mistake during soldering. The tool I use for desoldering is this. It's sometimes called a solder sucker or a desoldering pump. I bought mine from a local electronics store, but you can also find it online. I've even seen mine on Home Depot's website. To work it, you push this end until you hear a clicking sound inside. Then you press this button to suck solder into this end. What's going on inside? Pushing the piston expands a spring until it locks in place. Pushing the button causes the spring to rapidly shrink back to its unexpanded size. Pulling the piston back. There's also an empty chamber here with a small hole at one end. The head of the piston has a seal around it, so that no air can escape around the edge of the head. When the spring pulls the piston back, that backward moving head causes a low pressure area, pulling air and any liquid solder in through the hole. Here's how to use a desoldering pump to remove a part. In this case, a capacitor. First, push in the piston until it locks. Then, heat the soldered connection, and when the solder is liquid enough, put the hole for the pump in place. And push the button. Some of the solder gets sucked into the pump. You may have to repeat it once or twice to get all the solder. To remove the solder from the pump, simply push the piston back in. I repeat the process for the other capacitor connection too. When it looks like all the connection points are clean, remove the part. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel for more videos with tips for making stuff. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. Keep on watching!